Well, hello, guess what I got? I got my latest Kasner auction box. Oof. <laughs> Ooh, it's a biggie. It's a biggie. And I'm going to open it to see what I got. This is the last of the Madame Rack auctions. Um, and it, there should be some jewelry in here and some household kind of things like board games and things like that. So without further ado, shall we dig in? Shall we dig in? Maybe it'd be easier to put it on the floor. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Well, let's just see what they sent me. So if you're not familiar with Madame Rack, so Madame Rack is a, a woman who lived in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And she, um, well, people call her a hoarder because she had an awful lot of stuff. But I think what it is is that she just accumulated the um, household contents, really, of probably her parents and herself and, you know, maybe some of her husband's things and so on. It just kind of accumulated over time. Okay, so first thing we have... <laughs> some packing material. Oh, okay. And I see something wrapped up in bubble wrap. And I see, oh, so this is all the jewelry in a big case. Wow, cool. And, whoops, there's something in a little envelope. So this, I'm guessing, is some jewelry that I bought as well. So let's, shall we start? Shall we start with that? Let's start with that. Okay, so let's see what's in this little envelope. <laughs> Turn you a little bit so you're centered there. Okay, so this is a bunch of charms that I bought. Uh, sterling silver charms. So let's have a look. Okay, so this first one. Oh, it's a woman with a basket on her head. So a woman with a basket on her head of um, fruit, I guess, probably. Well, that's the first one. And then there's this one that says Virginia. Sterling silver charm that says Virginia. And then I see one that says Niagara Falls, Canada. So Niagara Falls has both a Canadian and an American side. But this says Niagara Falls, Canada on the back. And then here's the front of it as well. I'm gonna have to move the box out of my way here so it's easier. Just give me a second here, I'm gonna move the box. So I can get closer, closer to you, closer to the camera. Um, then there's one that says Jamaica. Jamaica. So these are from all of her travels, I guess. And then here's one that says Canada Village on Upper Canada Village, Ontario. Okay. Ooh, a little horn, like a French horn. So I wonder if she played the French horn. I played the French horn in Mand <laughs> many years ago. And then <clears throat> A little kind of Mexican looking fellow playing a drum, it looks like. Let's see if we can get that to focus better. Hmm. Yeah, playing like a tongo drum, it looks like. And then, oh, sort of mother child, I guess. A mother and child. 
beautiful one actually it's really pretty so these could be used on a charm bracelet or they could be a pendants with with chains um if you need silver chains for them as well you can let me know and i can look and see if i've got any um and we can work that into the price so that's one lot of the silver charms that i got and then i got a lot of stuff that was marked games um and i do see some games in the box but the other thing that was sticking in this box was a painting and so this must be the painting from that lot so let's have a look and see what it's all about hmm. oh no maybe this is the records maybe this is the record so there's also some records in the box yeah this is the records okay so it's a Leonard Bernstein record, Mozart, Symphony Number no. 39, Leonard Bernstein, and it's stamped Mary Bewick, Bewick so that must be her maiden name. Uh, let's see if this says a year on here. It's Columbia Records. Hmm. Oh, the, the symphony. Nope. Sorry, guys. I don't see a date on here anywhere. It's number 7029. If that helps anybody. But yeah. So Mozart's, Mozart's Symphony number 39. I'll show you the back as well. Some fine print, though. And then, oh, this is cool. Because she was a ballerina, this is a neat thing. This is a Nutcracker Suite. Um, so it's suites numbers one and two, uh, the Tchaikovsky. It's really neat. Great. I'll have a look and make sure I understand the condition before trying to sell those. So if those interest you, let me know by an email. And then there's some games in here. So let's see. Oh, there's a Scrabble game. Let's have a look inside. So of course, I haven't counted pieces or anything to see. So it's the um, sort of standard board. It's in great shape, though. I think it hasn't been played with very much, it looks like. And I see, yeah, there's some... Uh, the um, what do you call it? The uh, like the instructions. <laughs> You've just opened this famous Cellrite game. Congratulations for the variety of entertainment for young and old. So this definitely is an older, older one. This is a really neat brochure. <laughs> really cool brochure. See if it says any dates on it. Hmm. Do I see a date? Price is higher west of the Mississippi and in Canada. <laughs> Department 55, 205th Street, New York, New York. So no postal code. Hmm. I wonder if that trustee Huckster always says, you know, if there's no postal code, then that's a sign. There's this in here too. Oh, this is neat. So if you find any de defective tiles, you're supposed to send them in. Yeah, this is definitely an older set. And then this came in it too. I think these are neat just on their own for framing, right? Huh, cool. So it says, just what the small fry ordered. Scrapple for juniors. Isn't that neat? <laughs> so I'll have to count the tiles and make sure they're all here. But I see... There are um, four of the rests as well. So that's good. So it should be a complete set. As I said, it looks like it hasn't been used very much. So that's kind of neat, right? Cool. So that's an old Scrabble set. And then what else is in here? Okay, this must be 
the painting. Yes, this is the painting that was in there. So let's see what it is. Oh, it's a lovely seascape. I'll show you this side first. Quite a lovely seascape. Really nicely painted. And on the back it says, Mrs. Willips, Shepherd of... Hmm. What's, I'm not sure what's what on this. Well, this is interesting. It had a sale, it's got a sale tag from an auction and the estimate was between 100 and 150. You can see there. So it was uh, in 06-27-2013. So she must have bought it in 2013. Now, is it signed? Yes, it's signed. Okay, I'm going to close up on the signature there. Uh, right down here where my pinky is. Let's see if you can see that. Hmm. How do I my face? It's pretty hard to see, but I think it says H. Hun. Hun. Worthy, maybe something like that. Henworthy, unworthy. Let's see if it says anything on the back. This oil painting NYCH Corrath, <laughs> Mrs. Willis, Shepherds Ave, Erickson, Three White Mount. Hmm. Find out when from Mrs. Willis. Charge to trust. Very odd. <laughs> Very odd writing on the back. <laughs> but isn't that interesting, right? That's a really neat painting. Huh. Very cool. So I'm interested in selling all of this. If you want to make me an offer, do. And I will also have things in my live sales. So my live sales are Tuesday at 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. And we have an awful lot of fun. Um, and I'll be, we'll be selling some of the Madame Rack stuff as well. So let's see what else is in this box. It's pretty awkward here. Sorry. Reach in here. It's like mastermind checkers and then something else here okay so this is neat let's see let's start with this that's really cool it's wrought iron kind of or is it silver that's tarnished well i think it's brass actually i see some brass that's really really cool huh. is it not marked Hmm, I don't see any kind of a stamp on the back at all, but I think it's really neat. Be crazy cool for a tea light, or you could put incense in there as well, or you could just use it as decor. That's kind of cool. And then a mastermind game. Oh, mastermind, do you remember this game? I sure do. That's a it's a fun game. Let's see now. I don't know right if any of this if this is all together or not. Okay, I'm going to use my knife here. Okay. So this is what I see when I open it up. And then I don't want to use my knife on the tape, so I'm not ripping the box at all. Okay. Well, that's what I see when I open it up. So again, I'm going to have to count the pieces and make sure it's all here. But it looks it looks pretty good. I can see that there's the instruction. I just don't want to spill any of these little guys here, these little marker guys. But yeah, so here's the um, rules or the instructions that's in here. 
So that's cool. Neat. Love getting vintage games, especially the classics, right? This is a classic. So we're awarded the game of the year, it says on, this out, on the outside. The Pressman, Makers of Triominoes. The game of cunning and logic. Look at the, the graphic on it. Fun, right? Okay, and then there's this chess set or checker set. No, it's a chess set. Oh, cool. It's a magnetic one. This is something I've always wanted to learn how to play is chess. So um, I love strategy games, so I'm sure I would enjoy it. And after watching, you know, the some of the chess shows that have been on recently on Netflix, it kind of intrigued me. So, yeah, it's a full magnetic chess set. Neat. So I guess the, I'm guessing that they... Yeah, that, that's, this is a magnetic surface, so they won't fall off. That's neat. The little travel one. Wow, fun. Hmm. That's kind of cool. I've always wanted kind of more of a, like an artsy looking chess set, but so maybe I'll sell that. We'll see. If you're interested, you can let me know and I'll bring it to my sale. Um, and then this was the last thing from from this lot. So it's a um, needlepoint little case. Oh, and inside, look at this. I thought it was a change purse, but no, it's actually a little sewing kit with really nice little brass scissors and some needles. A couple of safety pins. That's neat. And I guess what's in this little vial? I'm, I'm assuming more needles. Yeah, well, there's one anyway. A little, little vial for, for the needles. And a threader. So there's a thre two threaders. And a, I think this is to help thread regular thread and then there's a darning needle kind of like the thicker thread if i remember right and then the little scissors and it says made in germany hmm. and the scissors also say carl i want to say massey carl massey germany these little scissors Nice, nice little set. And a really pretty uh, needle point as well with roses. That's neat. I like that. That's fun. <laughs> this is a good lot. Okay, so now, boo, this is the one I've been really <laughs> waiting for. It's heavy, and it's all filled with jewelry. Can you imagine? Woo! And I did see some like designer names on some of the tags. So that's kind of what's got me kind of excited. So let's see. We'll start off and see what we have. Kind of gotten all jumbled. But, and these are the uh, first, the strand of beads. Now, are they Bakelite? I'm going to have to test them and see. But they could very well be Bakelite. So that's the first strand. And then there's this one, black sort of plastic beads, nice lightweight ones. They're cool. Got some, you know, um, design in them. And then let's see what's in this next box. Oh, there's some earrings to go with them, pierced earrings to go with the to go with that necklace. That's they're neat. Hmm. That's cool. Now I also see here a bracelet, and this looks like the bracelet that goes with those beads. Maybe earlier. Let's see. That definitely looks like it's bakelite. It has a silver um, label, but it's faded away, like it's been worn off. But that definitely looks like Bakelite to me. 
So we'll test it and see. But it goes nicely with these, these beads, right? Neat. Next little boxy box. Okay, let's see what's in this one. Oh, it says North Dakota. Oh, North Dakota. So somebody's from North Dakota. It's a little pillbox. Nice little pillbox. I used to know somebody in North Dakota. I'm trying to think of who that was. I'm on the camera. And get it to focus there. So a nice little pill box. Oh, and a teddy bear. It says Barbara, official member of the teddy bear club. And I wonder, is this to do with um, Build-A-Bear maybe? I don't know. I'll have to do some research. A little brass teddy bear. So if you know a Barbara. Okay. Now there's this one. Oh, I think this is a belt. Yeah. Is it a belt? No. Oh, yeah, I think it is. Doesn't it go, if I remember, how does that go? Like that, maybe. Neat. So a belt, definitely smaller size. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking it's going to be like about 30 inches or so, 20, 20. Yeah, it's about 30, something like that, 20. 8.30, I'll measure it properly before selling it. So there's that. Well, let me see if it's got any kind of mark or anything on it. Do I see any marks? No, I don't. So it's a gold tone, but I don't see any marks because I know there's some things in here that, as I say, are designers. So. Oh, this is neat. This might be something that I'll keep because it's a magnifying glass that'll come in handy it's on a chain that's kind of neat hey eh? test this out just let me look oh yeah that's nice i'll i'll keep that handy in case i need it to look at something here okay so then there's this little box and something came out of it oh little whales Little whales, and they look to be sterling, but they're little tiny whales. Hmm. They're very cute, very cute. I don't think that was what was in the box. I think this might have been what's in the box. So it's two little studs on a kind of silver metal, silver tone metal. Um, a pewter. I wonder if there's if this is a lid to something. It to me looks like a lid, right? Doesn't it look like a lid to you? Huh? It's neat. Okay. What's next? Okay, so I think, oh, things have kind of jostled around. So then I see uh, um, some earrings. So there's this earring. And there's the pair to it. So there's the pair to it. And then there's a nice stretchy kind of silver toned band, elastic band, or bracelet. There's another clip-on earring that's kind of got a rust-colored fabric on it, like a suede, like an ultra suede maybe. Ultra suede was really big in the 80s, so I'm thinking that's what that's from. And then I'm sharing the other one is around, but there's a 
white sort of milk glass. Yeah, it feels like glass, milk glass um, earring. And I'm assuming I'm going to find a pair to that. I keep digging. And then there's a watch. Oh, where's my trusty magnifying glass? Let's see what it says. Pierre. And it says Quartz Japan. Japan movement. And it says Pierre. Can't read the, the last name here. I want to say nickel. Pierre nickel. I'm not sure, but it's a ladybug. It's a ladybug. With some, I'm assuming cubic zirconia kind of uh, stones there. It says made in Hong Kong on the back. So there's that. Great if you like gold tone jewelry. Okay, so here's some beads, some white beads. Again, I think these are plastic, vintage though, and they're nice. They've got that kind of, um, you know, sparkle to them because they've been kind of cut so that they're, they've got like a disco globe. So maybe then these are not glass. They must be plastic because they would go with that. Let's see if there's the other earring in here. Where did I get that from? No, don't see it just yet. But again, everything got jumbled. So I'm sure we'll find it. Okay, so then this is the next thing. Hmm. So that's the necklace part of it. And then it's on a, a quite a thick chain. Hmm. Does it say anything on it? No. <laughs> That's different. Okay, and then, oh, these are nice. Oh, they say 10 carat. 10 carat gold. Really nice earrings with um, the stud back. Very, very nice. Simple, elegant, right? 10 carat, that's nice. Yay. Yeah. Oh, and a Burberry. Burberry of London pin. Burberry of London. Nice gold pin. Like kind of like a floor leaf clover kind of type design. Oh, and a scarf pin or a scarf clip. It's gold with a pearl kind of tone. Beautiful. Some Liz Claiborne surgical steel post. So black earrings. Very nice. So it's like two sets of earrings. So if you've got double piercings, this would be cool for you. And then a, a bit of pearls but the man this is a short very short um chain of them or loop of them let me just grab my ruler here it'll be like a choker because yeah about 16 something like 16 inches no not even that just a minute Yeah, 16 would be like a stretch, probably 15 and a half, I'd say. 15 and a half pearl, choker pearls. They are knotted. Um, the clasp is just a hook. But I guess you hook onto one of the loops so that, you know, depending on how long you want it. Okay. This is fun, right, guys? Okay, so I'm on to my last row here because it all kind of fell into the last row. So then there's some bangles, a black plastic bangle. 
Oh, this looks like it's silver. It's a, um, it looks like sterling silver, hopefully sterling, um, you know, with a little safety chain and the sort of engraving. Let's see if there's anything I can see right now. I might have to polish this one just to see any markings on it. Hmm. Yeah, maybe what I'll do is I'll polish the inside of it, right? The, the to to see to make sure it's if, to find out if it's sterling or not. Um, I put that. And then there's this one. Oh, that looks like bakelite too. Maybe, maybe not. Looks like a cream-colored thin bangle. Very simple. Okay, what's the next thing? And then there's this mirror. So the mirror has a, um, what do you call it? Sort of a, a scene with, let's see here. So a man playing a guitar or lute and a woman. Um, and it's, you know, a little pocket mirror. So it's porcelain. And it says on it, it's signed here. Oh, it's Limoges, Limoges. It's signed Limoges at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but it's right here. That's cool. Little Limoges. Um, little mirror. And then there's some bangles. So a pink one. And a green one, purple, yellow, and then this one with that's brass with brass with um, inlaid shell on it. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Great. Okay. <laughs> oh, and a, a nice chain and bracelet. So it's a, a chain and a bracelet. Again, let's see what this chain is. Uh, 11 and a half, so that's doubled, so 23, right? Yeah, 23 inches. And then a bracelet as well to go with that. Is there any marks on it? So again, I'll have to take my time and do some research on some of this and see whether or not it has, you know, it's a brand name. There were some Burberry, as I say, I should check to make sure that this isn't Burberry as well. Um, okay, then there's a box here that just got a whole bunch of stuff dumped into it. So let's pull it out and see here. Put back a few things that I've already looked at. I got these two big boxes left. Okay, so this says genuine pow shells, jewelry and and jewelry and frames. Okay, jewelry and frames from Calgary, Alberta. Pow shell. Pow shell is the shell from the shellfish, which is harvested in the deep, clear waters of New Zealand. The pow shell is one is of a, the abalone family and is known by the names of rainbow abalone and opal of the sea. Interesting. There's more. But let's see if we can see what this is referring to. So, okay, in here looks like this is a bit tangled. So this is uh, one earring that's in here. So it's knotted silk or sort of tassel and then there's this which I think necklace Oops. oh sorry I touched the you moved my mouse out of the way there there we go so it doesn't happen again so it's a nice little short sort of choker type um with little beads on it it's kind of neat hmm. Really neat okay there's another sort of choker oh this one I think 
is missing its end on here. So I might have to sell this as um, sort of broken jewelry. Now this definitely feels like glass, not, not, um, yeah, this is definitely not plastic. It's cold to the touch. You know, I'm pretty sure these are milk glass beads. So that's cool. I can sell them as beads for crafters. There's a strand of pearls, long strand of pearls, nice long strand. Um, and it's got the white. So if there's silver, or if I'm lucky, it's going to be white gold. Um, neat. Shall I do the, the teeth test? Yeah, they're smooth. So they're just, yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's smooth. So they're a really good quality fake set from what I can tell because they're knotted in between. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're fake. They feel pretty smooth to me. Okay, what's next? Just going to take some stuff off my mouse pad here so that we're not going to cause problems. Okay. Ooh, these are neat. Malhone Bay, Nova Scotia, Canada. Birds, Birdsell Pottery, Worthington. Beautiful, beautiful little blue and white porcelain earrings pierced. Those are neat. Ooh, there's some loose, there's some pearls that are kind of broken here, it looks like. And a strand of black plastic beads. And there's some pearls in the bottom here. And then another strand of, shorter strand again, of kind of a green plastic. Um, and then it looks like these earrings, let me just pull them out here. Sorry, there's a bunch of little loose pearls in here. So I'm just trying to sort through to get, make sure I get the sets of earrings that are here. Okay, so I think this is sterling because it's tarnishing. It's not, at least it's plated. Very simple. And there's the pair. Again, I'll have to look later to see if I can find like a 925 stamp on it or anything. I don't see one from a really quick look. Um, these are interesting. They are, they look to be like um, a slice of wood in, in the earring. Like a, you know, because it's look at the side, it's like bark. <laughs> They're pierced again, pierced earrings. They're like a little bark, piece of bark. And there's a pair of those. And then there's this. Oh, this I think goes with that necklace we looked at earlier. So maybe the other earring to that is somewhere floating around in here that I missed. <gasps> and then, oh, here's the other tassel earring. Remember the brown sort of beigey tassel earrings? Ah, here we go. Here is the, the base to that. Um, little box. Remember the box with the, the, um, let me find it here. Here we go. The lighthouse with the little studs. And then, so here's the little box. It's a little box. That's cute, eh? And it says on the backs, Chelsea lead free pewter. And then it says it in French. Huh. It's a little, Tiny, um, I'm sure just cubic zirconia, but um, and then this. Oops, what did I drop? I dropped something. Um, it's an elastic -y bracelet, but the the elastic on it's kind of gone. So I could re I could re I could fix that easily. I've got some elastic, so it's kind of a navy blue. 
um, beads. And then there's two little, oh, here, look what this is. This must be the little a necklace to go with that lighthouse. Um, the lighthouse little box. So there's a little pendant to go with it. And then another one is, oh, this must be the the um, rainbow, what was it, Pow, Pow Shell, little pendant, this one here, genuine Pow Shell, I'm thinking it's that. Neat, very bright, colorful. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, I found the other, the match to that white um, earring. And what else? Just some little bits and bobs I'd have to go and look through. But well, there might be another pair of gold earrings here too. Hmm, let me show you these. They're nice and simple, right? So again, I'll have to kind of look at them closely to see if they're anything. Mm. Oh, and then there looks like the earrings to match that little um, necklace as well. Yep. Cool. Well, I think that's it. I think I've shown you everything. Let me just double check. Yes, I think I have. So there we go. So let me know by email if there's anything in this lot that interests you. Just make me an offer. And if I accept the offer, we'll wait the race as we go. If not, we'll put it, I'll put it in the live sale. And uh, probably the live sale will go up. Um, let's see. What's the date today? Um, it will be a week from the 13th, so that would be the 20th, March 20th, Tuesday, March 20th at 6 p.m. Please do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't think, what you didn't like, what you maybe thought of this. Did I do well? <laughs> um, and yeah, we'll see you at my next live sale, Tuesday night, 6 p.m. Pacific. Hope to see you there. Subscribe and hit that little bell so that you know when I go live. Thanks, everyone. So happy you could join me tonight. Thank you so much. Bye now.